one just really extend ahead. Because, like, when those close sets sort of happen, usually what happens is one or the other. Mm -hmm. One or the other happens where just, like, someone is just so incredibly hot after uh -oh. winning or losing those Battle types kill. of matches. Oh, my goodness. Dark. Yeah. Uh, Ma. So, I want to say, before we get into the set, Sheik beats Mar. Uh I, I stand by that. I think that's maybe the majority opinion. It's not unanimous. Um, because, you know, Bill is going to disagree me uh, immediately. So, but I think <laughs> I'm going to act as though that's true. And uh, I think a big part of why is Sheik's limbs and speed are good enough at least up close to counteract Marth's range somewhat, which is something that literally no other character in this game can, like, actually pull off all the time. See. Yeah, I mean, and also, like, the other thing is that, like, um, like, you know, grabs, you know, grabs like this, you know, it's very much easier, I'd say, like, the reward that she gets off of a grab in comparison to Marth yeah. is huge. It's And, and it's so easy. It's mm -hmm. so easy. And like the other and the other thing as well is that like you know, that's where Marthritis. That Marthritis can easily come into play. I know it's a common cliche, but it right. most definitely could come into here because I mean, you know, Sheik, sometimes you just need to get that grab into the fair. Right. She she kind of has like a plan for mm -hmm. her stocks laid out for her by her kit. And in this match, Marth doesn't mm -hmm. have that. Um he kinda just like Builds up damage, builds up damage. Maybe I'll hit an edge guard, maybe I'll hit an F smash, maybe I'll phantom a back air. Why not? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you talk about, oh, I was going to say, talking about swing stocks. This could be a swing stock right that now. That will kill. And Umar back at a, I mean, this isn't even. Uh, now it's super not even. <laughs> I mean, you can talk about percent differences, but the trouble is it takes some time to establish talking about percent differences, and by the time, uh, by the time you have finished talking about it, uh, often the percent difference is resolved into a stock. Mm -hmm. Dark Atma standing at all the platform, kind of messing him up just a little bit. See what Umarth can get. Not much. Oh, do it again. Oh, I don't know what he. Wa I don't know what I wanted to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> that is not the way. That is oh. not the way. I will keep saying that until this edge guard is over. That is not the way. It's oh. just not. <laughs> and a two stock for Dark Atma. <laughs> no, sir. It was definitely not the way. But I'd say, like you know, like you said, Dark Atma seemed firmly in control that game. Yeah, it seemed pretty comfortable. So here's something that's kind of cool. One of these two guys is going to win the tournament. That is true. That's neat. <laughs> there, are, there are only options now. <laughs> Dark Atma runs the other side of the venue for some reason. Oh, uh, his water bottles over there. Okay. Okay. Got to hydrate up. Uh, as they would say, hydro homie check. <laughs> and I guess uh, we should also note the winner of this tournament gets a free Genesis State Pass. Hey. So, something on the line here for both these folks. Oh, yeah, yeah. A dub is massive. And we could be here a long time. Okay, FD. Uh, are you surprised? I am not surprised. Uh, not really. Yep. I mean, you know, it, it gives. I mean, she can't land. You know, pretty much. But also, That's Marth can't say. land. Yeah. But like, Marth is better at enforcing that because Marth mm -hmm. has you know up air, up tilt, so Ooh. on. Too low. And I'll see you later. Yeah. Sometimes it just doesn't work out. No. True reset. See what he gets. Oh, throw a tilt. He has the report. He has the power. Oh, power report four. That extra frame of throw stun. So that was a huge swing, actually. Like, Umar just killed him immediately after that. <laughs> like, that SD was enormous. Yeah, I mean, the true, I mean, an actual definition of just grabbed and you're dead. So look at how much harder it is for Sheik to play neutral without plats. Mm -hmm. Like, Umar can kind of just, like, okay, where am I? Here I am. I'm going to detail, and you're going to just be confused. 
I don't know how he does that. Do you notice that? He, like, keeps, like, just, is it a PC walk? Is it, like, he just keeps turning believe, off the ledge. I believe it is a PC drop. I could be wrong. I'm not 100% sure on the terminology of it, but it's something ar along the lines of that. It's Pivot something that a lot of players are doing recently. Right. What is old is new again. Okay, Lord. fair, yeah. Uh, roll. Okay, I don't play Sheik. <laughs> Down smash. That worked out. Probably the stock. Those oh, he saved them so you could throw them diagonally. That's that's a Sheik main thing, I feel like. like mm -hmm. I wouldn't have thought to do that. I mean, what's but again, I don't play Sheik. Yeah. Uh, uh, what's interesting also is that oh, at the, at four, the four. last... Bay. Bye. I was oh, gonna, no. I was going to say at the last Bay Area Rumble, they actually did uh, Peach uh, Peach Marth this time. So Peach Marth. Dark Emma definitely going with the adjustment with going Sheik this time. The Needle. Umar won, right? Yeah, he won. 3-1. Yeah. Needle's coming into play. I like. I actually really like the Needle play in those situations when it's in that far, far distance. Because it's kind of like a, an execution test as well. It's like, how focused are you on looking at me? You know, are you looking at me? Because if you get hit by the needles, it usually means you're not looking at your opponent that right, much. Right, yeah, yeah. You're not reacting to them. Mm -hmm. You might be reacting to their location, but you're not reacting to what they're doing. Yeah. And you see now uh, YFT is good for Marth because mm -hmm. Sheik just kind of moved around and pushed buttons, and Marth just stood there and waited to press A. Yep. Get them in the air and slice it up. Assumption, I mean, the assumption is probably Dreamland, if you really think about it. Yeah, maybe. And where are we headed? Yes, I Nathan with the call. I am a prophet. Oh, don't die. Uh, this is where PP kills you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, probably the main thing, I mean, you know, the obvious thing will be, you know, Marth taking a while to kill. But, I mean, the thing could be set Back. for Sheik as well. Because, you know, she doesn't Nair? have, like, the super oh, strong moves. Down throw. Good follow-up. Keeps it going. No. That's Sheik has a really nice uh, fall speed to do that. Indeed. Neil's missed that oh. time, but the backer will not. That That's just going to kill. Yeah. Menu's eyes all fixated on what's going on as well. I don't know. Some of, some of them some of them are playing chess, but uh, yeah, most people are watching. <laughs> it's a big screen. I can see the venue better than Nathan can. <laughs> we got a bit of everything. Oh, today. oh. what a read! That's what? A, oh my I god! Just wanna, I just want to say that was stomp me. Yeah, fair enough. Dare fair. Oh, see it. Oh. Yeah. Uh, Clean. Targavin just, like, did a bunch of Sheik matchup things. Sheik is going to Sheik. No. Yeah, this is such good survivability. I mean, he's making Umar have to really work for it in almost every sense of the word. Up tilt, no, back, down. I'm kind of surprised we didn't see <laughs> I was going to say, when are we going to see the up B? That's when we see the up B. That's such a silly edge card. Like, all right, if you don't push any buttons, you die. <laughs> uh, this is where PP kills you. Oh. oh, the no impact. Oh, the power. No landing. He's not landing. Still not landing. These guys are, uh, luckily, they're not doing port counter picks. <laughs> uh. I mean, you know, it makes me wonder, what if at the end of the set, if, if Brock Abbott wins this set, do they RPS for the port? <laughs> like, I mean, yeah, probably. I would guess they like, did before. I, I, I've always wanted to add a bracket reset if that's ever happened. Yeah, absolutely. Like, it's just another set. I would say there's no reason not to. Regular get up. Uh, see, my reads are bad today. That's why I didn't win. <laughs> <laughs> it, it translates to commentary as well is what you're saying. I kid, I kid, I kid. <laughs> uh, that should just kill. Yes. Reverse. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Seventeen damage from needles. That's something people don't think about either. Needles do eighteen if they are not stale at all, and you have a full clip of them. And that is more than they look like. They look like little sticks. 
and thingies. But no, they do three a pop. Oh, that three a pop coming in clutch as well. Three a pop into the hands. Oh, uh, the up. wave land. Yeah, that was a push up on the wave land as well. Interesting. Umar making us all feel dumb again. As Umar, <laughs> as Umele does, uh, we got a loud pop up in the venue about something. Uh, Nima's let's go Umaring. <laughs> <laughs> Jab fair. Uh, that is a weird thing that happens sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know if anyone heard that, but uh, yeah, 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 a very yeah. loud F-bomb happened within inside the The let's the go venue. into the F-bomb <laughs> when they lose is a classic. Uh, the passion. Yeah. That's all you got to say. The passion comes out. Uh, this is what happens at locals, dude. Happens everywhere. Oh. Genesis, there's gonna be a lot of that. That's for uh, sure. Of course, but they're all they're all gonna be drowned out by the the talking. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a big room. And people it, are going, "Hey, what are you looking at for lunch today? Oh, how do you do in pools?" Like, it, it, and then multiply that times two thousand, and it just drowns everything out. <laughs> yeah. It's also a church, so. <laughs> Peter, you don't have a five-year-old. <laughs> all right, we're on Pokemon. Yes. Stadium you just FD light uh, is an opinion that people. Uh, uh, a, little uh, bit, a little bit of spaghetti. It's an opinion that people have about F about FD and Pokemon these days. I don't know that I like it, but it is common. Roll. Uh, he roll needed this. to roll. I mean, he gets back, but he's in that corner, like he said. Okay. Using that wave shield. Oh, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of that landing with the downer. A little bit predictable there. What a tech, but it's not going to matter. Yeah. Alright. Uh, oh, can't get the ground buff down. Okay, this should just be an up air. It's not. It needs an. Oh! Perfect response. Uh -oh. You're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> Jeez, and you're holding in as well. That's scary. Can't yeah, he doesn't want to get Ken comboed or tippered or whatever. Yeah. Okay, he goes forward. Shino stall is so, so good for edge carding Marth. Mm -hmm. It's such a quick refresh. Oh, man. He just blocks in corner. Like, I feel like during invincibility, that just ends up happening to him. I gotta say, Umar's dash chances have been very solid. Like, the ground game, but wow. Vic's yeah, it's a up chain dark throw. Atma. Uh, yes. Yep, yep, yep. And you notice, like, oh, wow, that's a lab. That's I spent two hours trying to figure out how to do this. Uh, definitely Uncle Punch, Uncle Punching that one. Oh, she knows the one with the poof. I see. I will not make that mistake again. I probably will. <laughs> yeah, Umar just doing a really good job of putting on like just the stationary pressure in this game. Waits just the right amount. I would call this about even if uh, Marth didn't like value knockdown percent a lot in this matchup, but I think he does. So no, yeah. I think this is definitely Umar favored right now, and oh. that is no longer true. Big fat 34. Here's one thing that I I keep thinking. I feel like I'm going crazy. Why hasn't Dark Atma up smashed off of down throw? Yeah, good point. I mean, and also like on the platform. So say like if he gets a throw, and Umar. Text on the platform like that. Oh, going for the no impact line. Interesting. No impact. They both have those, and they're both using them. Oh! Oh. Jeez. There's such a, there's such like a, a knee-jerk reaction in my head, me who is Fox and just dies every time I get tippered there, of like, oh, he just dies, and then he doesn't die. It's like, mm -hmm. uh-oh, what happened? Yeah. Oh, wow, the inside hit of the back air, the weak back air. Binion on set point. Roll, yeah, 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 yeah. He needs, he wants some kind of move because, of course, he does. We, you don't need to be told that the people want to hit their opponents. Or an air dodge. Jeez. A hit. Okay. Twelve. Four hits. Valuable. How much more? He wants the ledge. I lied. Twelve is all he gets, but 
Could be big. Doing my movement so good today and every day. Let's see. Oh, there's no impact. All right, what's he going to do off this? Okay, good, he's falling good there. Percent. Good. Keeps it going. Oh, contests it. Gets oh, he grabbed. Took out. That's so scary because now this is happening. Look, he did it again. He, he's yeah. so content to just play mix-up with you if he doesn't think he can react to your attack. Mm -hmm. And he's so good at making that decision on the fly. Um, worth the swing. It's just a little bit too heavy. Getting a bit scared on both ends. Trying to get down. He does. I don't know what he wanted, but that wasn't that. Okay, are we doing the crazy thing again? I, it's looking like it. All right, he's got to get up. That's not great. A he beast. takes a huge move here, no. yes. Oh, where's Umar going? It looked like he was going right at him. This should be game five. He doesn't drop. He didn't drop. I lied. Alive. Alive. I lied. Four F smash. smash. The needle. F smash. That's, uh, that's the set? Yes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> We are going to a set two. F smash for the set. What a time, huh? Yeah, a good number of people shouting at the TV. <laughs> well, we're even. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even game, even game count. I mean, zero is even. Uh, I will be selling the Rato stalls in NFT. I, I, <laughs> I mean, okay. I, <laughs> an NFT. <laughs> there's so many, uh, there's so many, uh, like characters that can be on this overlay in front of me. Do you see this? It's like definitely Bowser, Charizard, DDD. Is it like Smash Four or something? Uh, maybe Project M. Oh, well, maybe. That's All right, we're going to Yoshi's though. for game one. I think that's different. Uh, I don't remember them doing that in the first set. Okay, he still has the power. Cool. Coming in strong. Oh, the miss. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, no. These are not good signs over the course of the set. Mm -hmm. Oh, you really don't want that there. Oh. You don't want that there. Oh, no, you don't oh. want that there. Jeez, no these, guy, these guys should never be allowed to be on Yoshi's ever again. Oh, jeez. I mean, it's like, what? I mean, it honestly can't happen. It honestly can't happen, like, again. Like, I'm scared if this goes game five on story. It's not going to because someone will have won, but, like, yeah. yeah it's just, I feel I mean, like, someone will have won in this stage. But I mean, I feel like they should just re replace La Randall the Cloud with Randall the Spaghetti. Randall the Spaghetti. The blob of spaghetti. The meatball. Yeah, it is the meatball. Oh, and the stage is That spaghetti. was such a weird interaction. They both kind of came down with just stuff. And Dark Atma looking to equalize. Uh, everything Sheik has can equalize. Oh, this is where PP kills you. Uh, Umar's not PP. I, I think every time you said it, it actually has not worked. <laughs> right, but he's not PP. So, like, yeah. So you're, <laughs> so you're saying not PPMD is what Umar says. That, that's what you're I, saying. Yeah. I think <laughs> this is not an insult. Like, I know. I know. I'm just memeing. <laughs> that's what you're saying. Oh, my gosh. Shenanigans. Okay. Air dodges. Tipper. See ya. Yep. Blah. Sheik making that noise. Okay. Is he still in advantage? I, yeah. Here he oh. comes. He's gonna knock him off the cloud. Gonna oh. knock him off the cloud. Gonna knock him off the level. Uh, never mind. He is gonna knock Guess him off. Gets the roll read. <laughs> uh, and the cling. What, what did we say about the meatball? That was a meatball. Family guy cutaway, yeah, all right. Definitely some gags there. Umar destroying Dark Hatman in this first game. Yeah. How is he doing this? I have no idea, but he is. He probably thought something like this. Stop reading the worst comments. <laughs> <laughs> he probably thought something like this. This is stupid, all he's doing is X. 
And then he he decided not to do the thing that X got, and it's working. Oh. A tilt. One. Okay, this would be hard to choke. Getting harder by the second, and see. That's it. Uh, probably, I mean, from what we saw, I mean, you know, the assumptions, you know, the dreamland. You yeah, know. yeah. I mean, I think, I mean, pretty much what we said. Just, like, <laughs> get them off story. We're off story now. We are. And we are on dreamland. Yeah, uh, the one thing I gotta point out is like more dash chances, like his ground game. Like you notice that every time Darkman tries to go for a grab, that it's like, you know, Umorth has always got like that one last extra like dash or run in order to avoid that, to where it seems like Dark Emma's gotta reach so much just in order to get it. I mean, overshooting the overshoot is uh, something that can make people look very dumb. Uh, because it's like, I'm going to chase their dash back with the thingy. And then the dash chance spacing is too good. And you get mm -hmm. hit by dash back anyway. And yeah, it's like, thing, it's why things. Why did I even bother with this? <laughs> it's things into things. Yeah. And, you know, they're just doing the thing. Oh, 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 oh. Slippery. Yes. Okay, he doesn't really have a play there. Four throw. No tipper. Did he jump? There it is. Survivability. And no, oh, that's no not kill. that yet. Umar has been so, so good at preventing Dark Atma from killing him so far this set. Mm -hmm. Like, it's just that discipline and also like that, that sort of like that rinse and repeat sort of style coming into play. Like, mm. you know, it's okay if you drop it once. Just, you know, just keep wearing them down, wearing them down, and eventually you'll get the stock. Oh, the reverse. Let's just kill ya. Mm -hmm. Even game. Oh, I guess the chase down. Okay. No follow-up off the up tilt. That's also very different from what we saw last set. He doesn't take that grab either. I think that was a grab. Mm -hmm. Uh... So there's a lot of differences already. Uh, but Arkadma kind of grabbing a lead in this game. Kind of. He's working on it. He's working on it. Roll up. Yep. Okay, gets the bear. Tries to go up. Couldn't get it. Up throw. Nothing if you can catch a sheet jump, it's really, really valuable. Down. Oh, he doesn't chain grab. Oh, this is a lot of damage. A lot of damage. Yeah, you know, that multiple yeah, yeah. up airs. Gotta be reaching hard if you're Umar to keep this kill. The eye away. Gets back. Still has a jump. Hasn't used it yet. And it's on. Needle. Reverse snare again. You're, wow, I gotta say, you're right about Dark Admin's edge guards. Like, the reverse snare has gotten so much mileage. Mm hmm. All right, getting close to the end of the game, maybe. Takes the opening. Okay, Whoa. Chico Thou Jump is bad news. Wait. Oh, wow, not going for the grab this time. Forward throw, I don't think that's what he wanted. I don't think he won forward throw. That's gonna be that. And that's game two. One. One. 
Closer and closer by the minute. This is the last day of the tournament. So, we have a best of three now with no bands and starts on Marth counterpick or whatever. All right, Sheik Marth FD. Just, uh, just like last set. There is one character I can think of that is better against Marth here than elsewhere, and that is Falcon, but like only just, and everyone else just sucks. <laughs> a good way, interesting way, and definitely a good, a good way to look at it. Oh, you know, uh, it doesn't do a thing after the fair. The <laughs> curse of I am too fast for my own good. Oh, he gets the up smash off the down throw late, and that'll kill. No platform to save Umarth from that. But he maybe should have hit the DI. The water under the bridge. Oh, keep rolling, keep rolling. It's working, keep rolling. Yeah, I guess the air wobble stuff is kind of outdated. Oh, I can't say that in a NorCal stream. Uh, <laughs> Umar takes a stock. Dash stack, nice. Oh, he almost got the jump, but he used the needles to protect him. So it's, you know, it's fine. He doesn't have to go to disadvantage or anything. Oh, the up smash coming through again. It won the first set. Okay, Umar not jumping, which I would say is good. I think Dark Atma would like that very much. Okay, just Nair, Nair, yes. Okay, he's, yeah, he presses B when he sort of gets around there. That's takes that. the edge guard. To ledge, gets back. Okay, needles. just needles are shield. That reminds me when I, like, see someone shielding, and my response is, I'm going to dash attack, and they're going to drop shield as I walk up to them. I think the needles are good, though, because it's kind of like a check me sort of thing. Oh, he, tr he probably yeah. tried the DC drop there, wouldn't you say? Probably, yeah. I think he definitely wanted that. Uh, Dark Atma is destroying Umarth right now on his counter pick, which is not a great sign. Uh, I really don't like how Umar is like stationing himself. Mm -hmm. Okay, oh. that was sick. That was such a good edge card. But when we saw Umar play on final in the first set, uh, he sort of played a, he played a lot more passively, and he just made it hard for Dark Atma to do anything about where he was. And right now, he's kind of moving too much. I think like. I saw him like do like some approaching like short double fair and stuff like that. Would you say it's moving without a purpose? No, I think he has a fine purpose for moving. You know, maybe he want, maybe he feels. Oh, oh, that's it. That's it. That's rough. Ouch. That is rough stuff for Umar. I mean, just like that, it's tournament point. Tournament point. Huh? We're playing FD and we're playing somewhere else, if if necessary, as they say in sports. <laughs> Dude, I've got to, like, hold this microphone up to my face, but, like, uh, the mask that I'm wearing, is it sort of comes out, and so I've got to, like, push into the mask. Umar tries to up me out of a combo super, super early. I don't think he meant to do that, but you still don't want to see it. Yeah, it's definitely scary. What are you doing there, man? Oh, no. Gets a read. That'll, that'll continue Atma's advantage. And that'll kill. Dark Atma just kind of doing moves and Umar not being in the right place to guard against them. Mm -hmm. And that's something I don't associate with Umar. I associate him with, like, really good spacing oh, all the time. Oh, jeez. Flubberuski. Flubberuski, indeed. Still, still had no jump, but he lands now. Oh. Crouch cancel grab. No follow-up. Okay. I think Probably. Dark Emma is pushing the issue just a little bit. He seems confident. Probably meant to up tilt. Okay, gets the roll and does nothing with it. Double down, down tilt. tilt. Jinx. Tech and goes straight up. Okay, it's fine. Back air, basically Marth's only aerial that he can use when he wants to hit his opponent in one direction and one direction only. Uh, for everything else, it's all weird. And that'll kill. Sorry, I'm with a clean stock cleave. 
don't know. I think. I yeah. Uh, it, it just seems like I, Dark Emma is starting to kind of inch ahead, little by I little. I feel it. Yeah. It's like he, he's getting the openings like this with the grabs. He's getting up snatches. He wasn't hitting those much before. Okay. Uh, this could be big though. Okay. Let's mm -hmm. see what he can get. Dark Emma jumped. Okay. Let's him get back. Good. And ow, oh, no. Keeps it going though. One eleven. Okay. How does he get? Oh, he gets down. Down tilt. Looking for a second one. Just, yeah, pot shot. Just, like, a pot shot needle is basically like power shielding a laser versus Falco, mm -hmm. where it doesn't, like, it doesn't win neutral for you, but, like, it puts him on notice. Like, hey, don't stop dashing. Yeah. Right? It's a check knee. Like, not the command, like, stop dashing in the set, but, like, you have to stop dashing for one second while I while I give you this thing. Oh, and those are those needles again. Wait and, uh, on there. Dark it, Atma on tournament point. He's like, he seems relaxed. Also, Dark Emma it just seems like Dark Kumar. He sort, of, he sort of misses a run, though. This is where PP kills you. All right, never mind. <laughs> yeah, as soon as you get back on stage. I'm just waiting for, like, a dare. Waiting for a dare? Waiting for a dare? Am I going to see a dare? Oh, Can't no. Get it. Dark Emma keeps boxing. Four throw. Up B. Doesn't get the onset attack. Yeah, go, but gets it goes for the tech DI, though. Did Dark Emma land? He did. He did, yes. Oh, Wait. dude, where are you going? What right, a pivot wait. tipper. Oh, pivot forward smash. Okay. Uh, Umar kind of defending his face. Dark Atma gets out. Oh, catches the forward air. Good needle. He's going to snap. Yes. Holding center. Uh oh, but now Umar oh, off oh, no. Off stage. He's got to jump. Oh, he misses his, uh, his get up. These Up here, it's not going to kill because it's Marth. I know even though Umarth, he may get this kill, these trades have been so crucial for Dark Atma. Yeah. Ledge. Goes up. That's, see ya. That's it, but still. Dark Atma looks at the ceiling. Trying to pull out one confirm. Back, back throw. Or is he going to get Marth? Fair. Could be it. Where's the edge guard? Nair the off. Nair. Edge guard again. And, and that see you later. Does it. The winner is Dark Atma. Dark Atma, your champion of Bay Area Rumble 3. Well done. Then you From claps it up. Losers. Impressive showing. Well done. Binion has won. Binion has acquired the Genesis Pass and uh, the biggest local pot in, uh, in a long while.